and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner, the Walthamstow Bear, John Elijah. His opponent on my right and in the blue corner, the British mid-heavyweight champion, Mike Marino. As always, Mike Marino, the great man himself, the mid-heavyweight champion, getting the biggest chair of the afternoon, isn't he? What a technician this man is. But he's got a little trouble here because he's still in the mid-heavyweight bracket, 14 stone 13, and he's got a two-fall bout to go. He's got a two-fall bout to go against a man of 15 7, John Elijah of Wolfenstow, known as the Wolfenstow Bear, who can uh, give him a lot of trouble here, weight-wise, strength-wise, too. Even not that Mike's any weakling, but uh, Elijah really is power. Always the question in bouts like this is whether Mike Marino is allowed to use his skill, which everybody here at uh, West Devon C wants to see. Oh, yes. Well, give it to Elijah. He got up well from that quick inverted whip. Yes, a nice throw, power throw. But Marino's grin on his face showing that he doesn't worry too much about those. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this one. Figure four head scissors, Elijah. Not too much problem with identification here. The uninitiated who don't know Marino by sight is in the one in the black trunks. Black hair. Speciality, of course, is most strength holds probably the bear hug, much as any. And Marino to get out of these, going to have to use a lot of those grapevines. Of course, his opponent to lose his balance while he holds his own balance. Tremendous power again. Not that he worries Marino too much, but it, the actual uh, throw, but the knowledge he's up against that power must worry him a bit. That's the grapevine already with this man in kneeling position, grapevine on the other leg. I don't think I've ever seen even Mike Marino reach that one before. High face bar, type strangle hold there. And again, Elijah gonna try that throw as he Marino, can Marino hold on to this double arm to effect. Here comes the power. Very difficult to operate it from that position now. Oh, 
with one minute to go. Back hammer nearly on. Hammer lock there to Marino. Keeping his own feet far away as possible. Prevent a counter. But into the ropes. And the follow-up useless for Marino there. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Semi-Japanese stranglehold to Elijah. Attempted follow-up to a head scissors, figure four style didn't work. Marina saw it coming. D double interlock now with eight seconds to go. I would like to have seen whether Elijah got the par from this, but we won't have a chance in this round. The, the powerful fella, the Walthamstow Bear, John Elijah, four years amateur wrestling at the Sparta Club in Shoreditch, turned part-time pro in uh, 1970. And I've tried to say this before, I hope I can do it this afternoon. His hobby is paleontology, which is a study of evolution. Seconds away, round two. So round two, five to go. Two falls to decide this one. Mike Marino in the black trunks versus John Elijah. And a flying tackle by Elijah. Picked up by Marino, but it goes the balance. But thrown off in time. Youth and power against... Quite a bit of power, but tremendous amount of experience here. Yes, this is going to be um, quite a challenge for even Marina, this one. What a beautiful spread. Look at the speed that that leg spread, the splits hole went on. And leash. Elijah had no chance before you fell back there. The speed of this man, Marino. Side headlock. And counted almost immediately by Marino because of his timing. And the Marino's left leg at this time is stopping Elijah from stepping back, which of course Elijah wants to do to get his balance. The power of Elijah, pretty terrific there, but uh, he still felt it in his shoulder when he finished. Chancery on to Elijah and Marina's going to have trouble with this one. Both those arms. Elijah, a couple of minutes to go in the second. Even now, Marino, using that right foot to effect. <laughs> Elijah.
Rose is still holding on to that toe now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, a great throw for a 15 and a half star man. Again, that quick leg grab of Marino's gets the torn ankle on with the use of his elbow. On quick of his elbow. minute to go. Again, the use of the feet gets Elijah off. The follow-up a little slow. I don't know if he allowed... Yes, he realizes himself. It's a little bit too slow. Not part of the same move that we broke. Didn't even wait for the referee to tell him. Half a minute now. And a backhammer, Marino, will be spared any second. First time that Mike Marino has really been in trouble in this bout. Right at the end there, I think he was a bit glad to hear the bell. Mike Marino, who uh, I don't know what one can say about this man, he's just the master to me, he always has been. He really is a, a complete technician in the wrestling ring. Wonderful to watch at all times, especially if we can watch the balance and the use of his feet to gain balance and prevent his opponent from gaining it. Seconds away, round three. Round three, four to go. single finger into lock again but I'd like to see that double one because I'd love to see how Marino gets out of it. In the meantime, Elijah's released even the single. An arm lock now to Elijah. Grapple fans will know you generally have to go right over the top. But uh, Marino had his own idea on it. There's the double interlock again. Marino on one knee has got to go all the way, but he can still bring off a counter from there, a bridge. Talking about John Elijah having power, what about that for power in Marino's arms, shoulders? Marino again in trouble, goes down in almost a split move. His own choice there. thrown well by Elijah. Oh, 
front head chantry now. Both arms, Elijah's, are on the same side of the head. Still the chance you're not on correctly. And that's what enabled Mike Marino to counter it into an army rear. Using the double-handed wrist to start off. Again, trying to hold his balance by the use of that grapevine, reaching back for it that time. But he got clear. That's a grapevine again, but this time on the correct side, and the four Nelson on. But he found it. And it's Elijah trying for a grapevine this time. And he's got the opposite arm lever with it. And he's got 25 seconds. How about that for an escape encounter? Eight seconds. of course never came into the ring this afternoon in this main bout expecting anything else but a, a really hard job to control Marino in any way and he's not been disappointed <laughs> but the three rounds he's done pretty well to be still there with a, a, quite a chance to use his strength holes Marino hasn't uh, got a fall up yet don't forget it's a two fall bout how long would it take to get this man down for one Seconds away, round four. The last three rounds. No score. Marino in the black trunks and the packed crowd here at the Cliffs Pavilion, West Cliff on Sea, really enjoying this one. I think they join me in wondering whether comparative inexperience of uh, Elijah can outdo the great Marino this time. an unusual submission hold but Marino got a submission with it so now it's a submission hold Mike Judd our MC to announce that ladies and gentlemen in round four and with the leg lever submission the first submission to Mike Marino well, I don't think I've ever seen a submission exactly like that before but it's certainly Elijah didn't uh, hesitate and I think he might be in a little bit of trouble here to go on with round five. He's got to go any second. No. The second has thrown in the towel. The referee is signing to the timekeeper. And there's Mike Judd, the MC, getting to the ring to announce unlucky finish for Elijah, but a win for Marino. Ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, John Elijah is unable to continue. The winner is Mike Marino.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure everyone here will give a very big hand for a very brave John Elijah. Ladies and gentlemen, John Elijah has asked me to thank Mike Marino. I'm sure everyone here would like to thank him too. Mike Marino!